So how many occasions have there been when you've gone to the gym and you haven't really known what to do or you're just a little bit confused or overwhelmed with all the equipment, all the free weights, you're just a bit like, what is going on? I am here to help you, I'm here to guide you to the ultimate back workout. I wanna go through step-by-step -step exercises that you could try, a beginner's guide, and even if you're not a beginner, give this a go, maybe you'll learn something along the way, I really hope you do. So keep on watching, we're gonna get into this video, and I truly, oh, sorry, I've just got a little bit of a cold, let me just, I really hope this video helps. Let's get into it. I am also wearing the Gymshark Flex leggings in still blue along with the Energy uh, bra in still blue. This is still in stock on the Black Friday sale but I know a lot of you didn't manage to get your hands on anything which breaks my heart because the sales just go so quickly, it's unbelievable. So I am doing a giveaway and this is what I'm giving away. I have so many clothes that I just don't wear anymore and I have dupes of so why not give it away I'm giving away on this video the energy seamless leggings in a size small and sports bra in a size small along with one of their old cropped hoodies so you get a full set all you have to do is like this video comment down below a way that I can contact you and also you have to be subscribed and following me on Instagram. Simple as. The winner of the previous giveaway will be in the description box. So if you've won um, the previous giveaway, just pop me a little email and I will get that sent over to you. So yeah, let's get going to the gym now and get started with this back workout. Kickstarting this workout, we are going to be warming up. And some of you may be wondering, why is she warming up her shoulders? And the truth is, everything is connected in your upper body. Muscles are connected, so you have to warm them up and ensure that you prevent injury as much as possible. Shoulders are so prone to injury, I cannot stress that enough. So you have to be warming them up. Your rotator cuffs need to be engaged, your muscles need to all be warmed up, fired up, ready to be worked, my girls. You feel me? Okay. So what I want you to do is 10 side raises, 10 front raises, and then 10 presses using about a 2kg to 4kg weight, whatever you feel comfortable with, nothing too heavy, um, quite moderate to light. And then once you've done that, I want you to repeat those exercises twice. So basically you're going to be doing 20 reps of each exercise. And then I'm doing some 360 circles here to just engage my rotator cuffs, warm them up, loosen them up a bit, and then we're gonna be ready. The first working set is going to be a straight arm lat pull down. And I'm using a straight bar here as well. You can use a rope, it's completely down to you. I absolutely love this exercise. I feel such a deep stretch in my lats and that's exactly what we want. We want to feel our back muscles engaging. As you note here, I'm going pretty slow when I release the weight back up and I'm keeping my tempo as steady as possible. I'm engaging my lats as you can see here and then squeezing them when I'm bringing the weight back down. So contracting as much as possible. You want to ensure that you're constantly squeezing your back muscles on back day and just keep that mind to muscle connection at all times. We're going to be doing about 12 reps, 4 sets for this exercise. Moving on now to another lat exercise. This is a wide grip lat pull down. Now I know some ladies don't like the appearance of a wider back and that's completely fine. You can use a narrow or neutral grip for this exercise, but I personally do like a wide grip because it does provide the illusion of a smaller waist. And girl, I'm all about having that smaller waist. You feel me? Okay. My form is really strict and what I mean by that is I'm not swinging forward or swinging back. I'm keeping my core engaged but mostly focusing on bringing the weight back down and contracting with my lats. When you're contracting the weight down, I want you to imagine you're almost separating your shoulders and creating half a semicircle. And that is how you're going to get the optimum contraction. Moving on to your third exercise, and I am doing a cable row. You can do a seated cable row, but I personally like this kneeling one, just because it ensures and allows me to get a deeper stretch in my back muscles, which I really, really like. I like 
feeling of the stretch. I like to control my tempo and contract as much as possible. When performing any row, when you're using both hands, you want to imagine you're squeezing a pencil in between your two shoulder blades. That's exactly how I would picture it. You want to contract the muscles together and then release. So imagine you have a pencil in between those little shoulder blades and then releasing as much as possible and repeating the process. You want to be doing about 12 reps of four sets yet again. Moving on to single arm rows. Now this exercise can be a little bit difficult to perfect and trust me, I've had my moments where I wasn't feeling this exercise. So here are my top tips. You wanna be leaning over as much as possible and then you wanna imagine the weight is pulling you down but it never touches the floor. When you are bringing the weight back up, lift your chest slightly. And I learned that tip from Fit Girl Mel. And my God, it's changed my life. You also wanna be pulling with your elbow. You wanna imagine you're pulling your elbow as close to your body as possible. And trust me, you will feel it. Start off light, then increase your weight gradually. This isn't a bloody race. Girl, just take your time. It's not about who can lift the heaviest. I promise you that. Moving on to rear delts. Now I love doing rear delts on back day. You can also do them on shoulder days. That is completely up to you, girlfriend. Do whatever you want. But I love doing this exercise. I really feel them in my rear delts. It's essentially a reverse pec machine, but we're doing them on a bench, if you get what I'm trying to say. You wanna have the bench at a slight incline and then pull your hands out to the side and the back and contract your rear delts as much as possible. I would strongly advise going light for this exercise and then gradually progressing with your weight. Remember what I said, this is not a race so take your time. The final exercise is going to target our lower backs. Now I vary between the hyper extension machine as I'm using here or deadlifts. But as a beginner, I would prefer you to do the hyper extension machine just because I feel like deadlifts can be a little bit intimidating and using a lot of free weights and movements, it's just a bit technical. So start off with the hyper extension machine and always progress. I want you to imagine you are pulling the weight only through your back and the top of your glutes. So your arms are gonna be loose, the only thing that it's grabbing and holding on to is the weight, but you are pulling the entire weight through your lower back and glutes. And as you can see here, I'm squeezing as much as possible. You seriously really need to have that mind to muscle connection, I cannot stress that enough. If you constantly tell yourself, pull through your lower back, pull through your lower back, you honestly will. Now this exercise is difficult, I was <laughs> struggling at the end. So I want you to perform roughly 10 to 12 reps and try and hit three to four sets if you possibly can. However, if it is challenging, then just do these body weight. That is absolutely fine. So that is it guys, I truly hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, useful in any way, shape or form. I do post a lot of little workouts on my Instagram that you can give a go. They're not really workouts, they're like exercise that you can try at the gym, they're not full workouts. But um, also, yeah, just give those a go, give different exercises a go. And make sure that you're subscribed to this channel and make sure that you are following me on Instagram. Comment down below for any questions that you have or if you want me to do any other versions of a beginner guide video. And remember that I love you always and forever. Bye.